Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Uh, as you can see, the original three Doom games are now available on the Switch eShop. This just happened, they're like at the top of recent releases. Uh, this isn't Doom 2016, which was just called Doom as well. This is Doom from 1993, the original game, uh, which was released for DOS and as a, as a shareware game, and you could like, get extra episodes and all that. Uh, you also got Doom 2 from 1994, and Doom 3 from 2004. Uh, I have played Dooms 1 and 2, so I'll be giving them a quick look, just to see um, how well they've been ported. Like, I'm familiar with those games already. I've never played Doom 3, though, so I will be giving that one a bit of a more in-depth look, see what I think of it. Uh, so first up, let's look at the original Doom. Um, I know that Doom 3 had, like, an expansion pack. I don't know if that's included in this game or not, so we'll see how we go. Um, it was called uh, Repercussions of Evil, I believe. Uh, okay, I didn't realize Bethesda were... Alright. I mean, id, id are the people that make Doom, so that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, Doom 993 to 2019, id software, that sounds right. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is gloriously retro. Do I need an account? What? Seriously? I need an account to play Doom? Are you serious? <sighs> Alright. I think I already have one. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I think I've made an account now. It just sent an email email to me when I put my email address in. It didn't actually, like, ask for a password or anything, so that's cool. Looks like there's a code of conduct here that I have to agree to as well. Um, whatever. Whatever. I just want to play the game. It's, a, it's Doom. I want to play the single-player campaign. There we go. Alright. I want to have online multiplayer. What was the point of all that? the hell? Uh, Alright, well, I'm in. Let's have a look. we got audio settings, we've got gameplay settings. Uh, apparently it has HD rumble, which is cool. Uh, the controls don't seem to be remappable, which is a little annoying. Uh, Alright, let's go into the single player and check out the campaign. Uh, the four original chapters are here. Um, Knee Deep in the Dead was the uh, chapter that you got when you bought when you, um, like, installed the free version of the game. Um, uh, because, remember, this was a shareware game. So, if you got just the, like, the shareware free version, you got just Knee Deep in the Dead. So, that's the part most people have played. Uh, when you registered it, you got, I believe, Shores of Hell and Inferno. And then I think they added Thy Flesh Consumed in a later expansion pack sort of thing. So, the whole game is here. This is all of Doom 1. Uh, let's just start from the beginning. And I'm real bad at Doom, so I'm gonna go, I'm too young to die. Alright, so it's using kind of modern controls, like the left analogue is, is um, moving you around, strafing, that sort of thing. The right analogue is turning you in different directions. Uh, I don't know if you can adjust that to work a bit more like the original controls. Uh, I don't think it's remappable, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I, I can deal. Um, the fact that, you know, you're using a controller rather than a mouse isn't a big deal, because in the original Doom, if you recall, uh, you never actually... Like, when people were first playing the original Doom, they usually didn't have a mouse. Uh, it was designed, like, for people to play with a keyboard, basically. Uh, how do I open this? What's the use button? Okay, that's auto map. Uh, that's how you switch weapons. What's the... That's how you shoot. How do I open the door? Okay, I actually need to look at the controls. <laughs> uh, rather than just open them repeatedly and then not look at them. Uh, use select as A button. Okay, press A. Is this door not open? Maybe it doesn't open. I don't remember. I haven't played Doom in a while. Uh, it's pretty much controlling like Doom. Uh, what a map. I need to look at the controls again because they're, they're weird. This game has weird controls. Is there a run button or sprint? Okay. 
in the original you would just like basically always sprint um, because you were just using Lasted and people didn't really care about going slow too much. Uh, which is why there's an always run option in the menu. Uh, the music sounds like Doom, it's the visuals look like Doom. Uh, I haven't had any monsters to shoot yet, but I assume when I shoot them it'll be like Doom. Yeah, it's pretty much like Doom. Yeah, this is this is Doom, all right. Um, you can now play Doom on a Switch if you want. Uh, the controls, yeah, they're fine. Um, they'll be like familiar to modern FPS players because it's using the twin stick layout that most FPSs use these days. Uh, I kind of wish you could change it to use the more traditional Doom style, where you're using the four arrows as move forward and back and turn, uh, which is what people would have done on their keyboards in the time at the time, but. Uh, you can set up monsters way above me, I can still shoot it because you have vertical auto aim in this game. You can't aim up or down, so when you shoot below something, you will still hit it. Um, part of the reason for that is that this game's not really 3D. It looks 3D, but they're using some interesting tactics. Uh, if you look at the, the top-down version, this is how the game actually it, is working. Uh, it's flat, um, which is why you can't have a room on top of another room in Doom. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is Doom. Um, for the for the Switch, you can play it on the Switch now, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of miffed that you had to make an account with uh, Bethesda.net or whatever in order to get into the game when it's offline. It's a single-player game. I don't understand why they did that. Doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, this is the end of the level, by the way. Boop. Yeah, this is a pretty authentic experience um, in terms of how you play Doom, so that's good. I'll do one more level, and then I'll go into Doom 2 and have a look at that one. I'm guessing it'll make me register again, um, which is annoying. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yep, this is the second level of Doom, it's working fine. Um, yeah, this is a pretty authentic version, I'm not seeing anything weird. Uh, they have those borders on the sides, because of course Doom was designed before we had, like, ubiquitous widescreens. Uh, it was designed for, you know, uh, like a 320 by 200 monitor or something, which is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So, there's some uh, extra space on the sides if you draw things authentically. This is pretty much how Doom looks when I play it on my computer, so, you know, they've got it accurate. Um, there are ways to get, like, higher res graphics and stuff. People usually don't with Doom. It's nice to get the authentic experience where everything is very low res and, and classic, <laughs> I guess. Uh, this, door. this one's an elevator, actually. Uh, you can move vertically, uh, as you can see, but it's sort of fake um, because... It basically, you have a height, but the height is just determined by the floor you're on. You don't have the ability to jump or anything like that. Same with these stairs over here. Uh, Doom is an interesting game that way. Uh, Id's next, like, big title, which was Quake, actually has a 3D engine, which makes it quite a different game. Uh, but Doom's 1 and 2 are using this pseudo-3D engine that's actually operating in 2D pretty clever, um, because it ran really well on the, like, terrible computers they had at the time. Without any, you know, graphics acceleration or anything like that. Um, give me that armor, yeah! This isn't the music playing in this level, but I like it. I like the music from level 1. E1, M1, or whatever it's called. Okay, I need to go to this thing. Elevator, come back. Take me up. Take me home. West Virginia. There we go. <laughs> and so yeah, this is Doom. Um, looks good to me. Um, I am definitely annoyed that you can't remap controls and that you need to use an account to play the game when it doesn't seem to have any multiplayer online. It's got offline multiplayer, which is something, but... 
yeah, I don't know why it made me log into my account to play an offline single-player game from 1993. That's weird. Anyway, um, I'm gonna just reconnect my controller here. Uh, let's have a look at Doom 2. I'm guessing it'll be pretty similar. Uh, as I said, I'm only taking a quick look at each of these games because I have played them before. I'm just getting an idea of what this version's like. Uh, Doom 2 is very similar to Doom 1. It uses the same engine. They added a few more guns and they, you know, made some new levels and stuff, but it's, it's fairly similar. Doom 2 wasn't shareware. You actually had to buy this game in stores. Um, and so it doesn't have separate episodes the way Doom 1 did. It just had, it just has one long set of levels. Uh, they did also release, like, expansions and stuff for this game, but, um, basically what they did, they got, they got a bunch of popular third-party levels and put them into a disc and called it, I think it was called Final Doom or something like that. Uh, I can check the art, the articles I've got here. Uh, yeah, Final Doom, and that basically that was a couple of expansion packs that were made by third-party creators that, um, they offered to make official, basically, and... That's what happened. Like, rather than actually making more levels themselves. <laughs> uh, okay, it looks straight into my account. That's good. Uh, I don't know why it needs an account, but... There you go, you've got single player, local multiplayer, you've got options. It looks very similar to uh, the Doom 1 options from what we're getting. I'll just go into single player here. Uh, okay, so the master levels are included. I believe master levels was one of those expansions I just mentioned. They made it... Yeah, um... So yeah, the master levels is a bunch of, um, basically third-party levels that were created under contract from id Software. They weren't actually made by id Software. Uh, so it's cool that they're in here. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, this is a regular game. Uh, so yeah, you can see it's very similar to Doom 1. We've got, uh, the same sorts of monsters. There are some new monsters in this game, and they tweaked a couple of other things. Uh, but generally it's very similar to the first game. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they're both very good games. Feels like it controls pretty much the same as well, so... Fair enough. Uh, there are multiple guns in these games. I haven't managed to find any of the others yet, though, which is a bit sad. And you can also just punch things with your fist if you want, but it's a bit silly. I'm getting clips from these guys. That's something. Uh, you can see down the bottom, it tells me, it tells me how many bullets I've got. Uh, you share, like, your weapons between... No, your weapons. You share ammunition between similar types of weapons. Uh, there are two types of gun that use bullets, and two types of gun that use shotgun shells. Um, and I think two that use the energy cells, but I think there's just one that uses rockets, if I recall correctly. Uh, also, yeah, your health can go past 100% in this game. It goes up to 200, I think, which is a bit weird. Uh, same thing happens in Doom 1, of course. this fellow down so I can take his clip. <laughs> uh, imp out there. I think those are called imps. The game doesn't really tell you what the monsters are called because you were supposed to read the manual. Games had manuals back then. Uh, now they don't. I think you can get out there. There's like a secret exit or something. You can have to go that way. Anyway, that's the end of that level. Good old entryway. Entering underhauls. So yeah, uh, it's Doom 2. Plays like Doom 2. Uh, again, it's using my Bethesda account, which I don't understand. I don't really know why this uh, offline single-player game, which does have local multiplayer but does not have any form of online functionality, would need an account. Um, I'm not too chuffed about that feature. <laughs> Uh, it's not like it's a free-to-play game either. These actually do cost money. Uh, they're not very expensive, um, which is good because they are quite old games. <gasps> shotgun! Yeah! Okay, so the shotgun uses shells. Um, it's quite a bit better than the pistol, but the ammunition is scarcer, as you might expect. I think there's like a door around here somewhere. 
Oh right, yeah, you open this up, then you have to walk on this hurdy floor to go through here. Yeah, I haven't played this level before, so I just don't really remember. <laughs> there we go. Uh, when you grab a gun you've already got, you just get the ammo out of it, so people dropping shotguns are being very helpful. There we go, you can see that's taking those guys out in one hit rather than taking a couple of shots, like with the pistol. Anyway, uh, so that's Doom 2. The super shotgun. Uh, this was added in Doom Doom 2, it wasn't in the first game. Basically, it's the shotgun, but it uses more ammo and does more damage. Pretty much the same weapon, just a better version of it. It's cool. <laughs> Ow, you go away. So yeah, uh, that's Doom 2, a game which is pretty good, and you can play it on the Switch, and it requires an account for some reason, but apart from that, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why it requires an account, that's freaking weird. Uh, can I make that gap? Yeah, you can You can see you can run across gaps like that. You can't actually jump, but if you're going fast enough and you cross a gap like that, you'll make it across. So yeah, sprinting is useful. Uh, we can get the right key card there. Doom has three colours of keycard. Uh, you can see it's down next to my armour number there. There's a little red boss in the corner, representing the fact that I got the keycard. So I can open a red door with that. Um, you get the idea. It's, you know, it's it's the quintessential first-person shooter. Um, so it works like a first-person shooter. Um, and it's good. It's a good game. Uh, there's a reason it's a classic. Uh, can I get through that gap? Too small. Okay. Go this way. So yeah, um, pretty cool playing playing Doom on the Switch. Also well, Doom too, but playing both the Dooms on the Switch, you can play play both of them. Um, there's also Doom 3, of course, which I'll take a look at shortly. I might just finish off this level so I can find the way out. Just remember how to finish the level. Um, okay, I've hit both those switches. Okay, yeah, we're going to go this way, alright. I need a blue key to open that door. And to open that door, because they've both got those blue frames on them. Uh, those are explosive barrels, you can shoot them and it'll like blow up people that are nearby. It's pretty handy. See? Mm. That was a little bit more maze-like than some of the others that we've been to. <laughs> well, of course, just like the original Doom, it's technically 2D. You can't have a room above another room, which kind of helps the geometry stay simple. Uh, or at least more simple than it would be otherwise. There's the blue key card, which I was looking for. You can see I shot that barrel there, it defeated both of those imps in one go, so that's pretty cool. Can I open this blue door now? Go up the stairs to the other area and in this blue door instead. And I think this is the end of the level. Sure is. Alright, so um that's Doom 1 and Doom 2. Uh these ports look pretty good. Um it seems to play nicely. I wish you could customize the controls. I also wish it didn't make you log into a Bethesda account because that makes no sense. But um if you want to play Doom on the Switch, uh, you can, and it plays quite well, so that's great. Uh, you can't play custom wads with this, of course, um, because it's the Switch and doesn't have the ability to load that sort of thing, uh, which might be a deal breaker because, you know, custom wads are a huge part of the Doom experience. Um, so you might want to pick up Doom on, um, you know, GOG or Steam or something instead if you want to be able to do that. Uh, I don't know what else you put it on. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's Doom 1 and Doom 2 on the Switch. Uh, let's look at Doom 3, which is a game I've never played and have no familiarity with. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I'm guessing it'll make me log into my Bethesda account again, um, because for some reason, Bethesda are involved with these games. Did they buy it or something? I, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe. Um, Doom 3 was not well received, I believe. Rather than being, like, more of an action game, it's a bit more horror-focused. And that isn't, like, super great for people who like the originals. It's very different, I believe. Uh, there's a photosensitivity warning, so watch out for that. Be careful. Um, but yeah, Doom 3, I have not played. It's a much newer game. Uh, it looks like this one might actually have online play because it's got a Bethesda.net option here. No, it doesn't. Um, okay, this one does have configurable controls, which is nice. Uh, I think. A little bit. Got a little bit of tweaking, but not a lot. It's something. It's better than not having any configurable controls. A uh, bunch of options here. System. Brightness, volume, HUD inset. Yeah, so I've never played Doom 3, so let's see how this goes, I guess. I hope it has subtitles. I didn't see an option for that. Um, yeah, hopefully subtitles. Uh, I don't like when games don't have those. Anyway, uh, we're going to start a new game. Okay, so it does have the, the DLC. It's got Resurrection of Evil. It's also got The Lost Mission, which I forget what that is. Uh, let me just have a quick look. The Lost Mission is the second official Doom 3 expansion pack. Okay, so both the expansion packs are in this game. So if you like Doom 3 and you want to get all of it, you can get all of it. Uh, I guess I'll go with Recruit because I've never played this. Uh, we'll see how we go. Space Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Well, there seems to be Originally subtitled. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. This pre-rendered video is really ugly. I should have done that in a higher res so it looks good on a 1080p screen like this. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah, this game is, it's more of a traditional... It's more of a modern first-person shooter because it was made, you know, 10 years later. Um, and yeah, I believe it has more of a horror vibe to it. I remember there being some stuff about darkness and needing to use a flashlight and that kind of thing. Um, I've never played it, but that's what I remember hearing about it. Um, I haven't done anything yet. This is all automatic. Although insertion data loaded. Roger that tower. Well, there's no subtitles on this, which is annoying. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Okay, so we've got some 2004 Tower human Dark models Star there. Final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. Alright, we've got... A little ship landing. I imagine our character is going to be inside that, but I don't really know. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If uh... that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. That was pretty funny. So yeah, Doom's through. Oh, okay, I'm playing as that dude. Do I have to play as a dude? That's disappointing. Okay, uh, I can jump, which is new. You couldn't do that in the other two games. Uh, that's all I can do by the looks of things. I'm trying all the buttons here. Oh, I can crouch. Uh, you crouch with the right analog stick, which is weird. I would have put it on the left one. Uh, but yeah, I can... Wonder All around with arrivals need to check in at reception. All if right. you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. All right. Um, I'm not pressing Welcome any buttons to, to go at this City. speed. That's just how fast I go. Premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. Is it this way? Welcome to Mars, Marine. Thanks. 
I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. All right. Okay, let me get this started. They clearly didn't like upgrade these textures. Look how like, pixely that looks. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Cool, only pathogens. Hey, little robot. Hi, little robot. Oh, friend. Welcome to Mars. This facility oh my gosh. The central hub for all scientific research, Attention, Director Banks, please report to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate Oops. procedures at all times. Oh, I must not have a PDA yet. Your to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any I'm security... I'm pretty sure that's code, not what PDA stands for. ...download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested... Yeah, the D stands for digital. ...head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay, so I have a... a personal data assistant so I need to be oh gross I'm in the military disgusting Ugh. how do I quit what, what do I press to quit the military mm. Mars City is a smoke-free facility please smoke only in designated areas thank you for your cooperation I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Why is that Iris is spinning? The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. It's just not how eyes work. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed villain. with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulty doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Why are the cutscenes in third person anyway? What's the point of that? Like, I could do it in first person, like in Bioshock or something. You could have cutscenes that work just like this, and it would be better. Hmm. Oh well. I really hope Bioshock gets ported to the Switch, by the way, because I really, really like Bioshock. And I would... Ooh. Excuse me. Well, the bathrooms are apparently gender neutral, but they chose a really bad set of symbols for that. So that's annoying. Um... <laughs> Constantly ready to fight. <laughs> Look at those fists. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I saw those suits arrive too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about. I'm gonna get an actual gameplay. Where, must, where should I be going? Um. This way. Dr. Braddock, please report to please Environment report to Management Alpha Alpha. Alpha. Four Alpha. This is Delta Science Management. Is this one of them robots? Hello, I'm a Marine. Can I go into Marine HQ? Yes. Okay. Took his sweet time, Marine. Wish there were subtitles. Here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the rank Your RS is a spinning too. You to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. Do they not know how eyes work? Place. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. Hope you follow the sentry better than you followed orders so far. Pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. 
Oh, the little robot's gonna help me. Find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Thank you, little robot. Let's go. Okay, so it auto saves by pausing. That's weird. Hello, little robot. Hello, little robot. Where are you going, my friend? Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more you know details. What Look at that little friend. Little friend. <laughs> I love you, little robot. Little robot. My buddy. How are we going, buddy? The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. You going this way? Okay. Are we there yet? Oh, so I'm supposed to be here? Okay. Um. Beep. We're going this way? Getting in the elevator? Okay. Exiting Mars City. Okay. <sighs> loading. I like how there's absolutely nothing on the screen to indicate how fast it's loading or that it's doing anything. Like there's no bar or spinning thing or. You know, there, there should be a, like a little little spinning thing in the corner to show you that it hasn't crashed, like in most games. Welcome to the dungeon, uh. Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. Thanks. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Hey, wait, my name is in there. Look. Okay, grab your gear. Danielle. What? Why am I playing as this dude then? <laughs> now. Oh, hey, I got a gun. Combat. Let me do it. That's fun. Test. Um. Okay, am I going? Am I going this way now? Or? Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Can you go back to the office and get, Looks get like you've approval. Looks like the decommissioned comm facility. Just okay, so I have the fists and a gun now. The underground junction and straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Oh, flashlight. Okay, you're all okay set. so that's that button. Oh yeah. Keep in mind. Civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Okay, so we go this way. It's unlocked already. Cool. Okay, um, yeah, it's starting to look a bit dark, which is something I knew was coming up. This game apparently overuses the darkness. Or so I'm told. Um, hello, friend. Do -do 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 -do. I'm heading down the stairs. I wonder why. The game is making me play as a dude when I'm named Danielle. Oops. I accidentally fell off a cliff. Uh, let's reload. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> First stairs. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Oh my god, okay. Um. Oh, I guess we're getting close to the actual gameplay now that I have a gun. Uh, it might not take... Oh, I haven't got a gun now. Looks like it might not take as long as, uh, say, um, Half-Life to get to the gunning, gunning part, which is good. Because that game takes a long time. I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Grab my gear. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's where I got it from. Now okay. Ready for combat. So I'm wearing armor answers. now, apparently, even though I can't see myself. And I've also got a cute, cool little gun now. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Uh, I won't be shooting it just yet because I might need my bullets like you've later. Looks the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight out. Can jump. You'll have a quick That's evac. exciting. Love and jumping. What better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're right, all the set. Door. There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Um, so I should save just so if I fall off again, I don't have to redo that part. Saving takes a weirdly long time though. Civilians are working down here. Don't get excited. Oh, the left stick is for sprinting, I think. Yeah, you go faster if you click it. A little bit faster anyway. Hey. You're looking for the scientist, right? Someone say hey? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see. Never mind. 
Hmm. Oh, combination. Um, we thought look at my PDA and see if I have the combination. Boop. Looking at the PDA. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable um. things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. Power I'm going to I'm going back where I came either. from. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people on track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't... Jeez! Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. Okay, well, I can't go that way because they took the bridge away, so I guess I'll go this way. Ah, it's gotten dark. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not a guy, Imagine but yeah, I'm new. All the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. And don't sweat it. She says it's got plenty of oxygen. What is that little yellow bar at the bottom that drains when I walk? Is that like my stamina or something? Because I need to be able to walk. I didn't use up too much stamina if I'm just walking around, right? Anyway, I'm in an airlock now. Um, wait, I don't... Do I, do I not have a spacesuit because my oxygen's going down now? Did, did I just go out onto the surface of Mars without a spacesuit? Um... Um, hmm... Seems like a mistake. All right. Uh, Marines, this is Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Yes, I'm making the communications. Yep, in the old com building. Okay. Cutscene no, time. Please, you must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Still I can't let. I, am I gonna kill that guy? See. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. What, what the hell? It's real. I know. Built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. Oh, God. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh. Oh my goodness. Well, that's horrifying. Oh my god. Ah, you're evil now. No, thank you. How do I reload? Oh dear, everyone's turning evil. That's not what I want. Make your way back to the security checkpoint. Okay. I see 
again. Fall okay, back. Gonna go that way. Leaders give sit rep. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down at Alpha Lab. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power system's down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilians. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. <laughs> This isn't good. <laughs> Ah, reloading. I hate that. Maybe that's why they had such weird eyes, because they knew they were gonna just have, like, creepy demon eyes anyway, so they didn't bother to make the normal eyes look bad. The vibration is not great, it's just sort of it vibrates when you like press the press the shoot button at a constant amount. It's not like HD rumble or anything impressive. Jumping doesn't give you a little vibration, for example. It really should. Oh no. I need to find one of those people. I wonder if one of these people I killed is one of those people. If I can use that PDA there? Yes. Maybe I can get stuck on the stairs because there's a barrel in the way. Okay. Oh, I found another gun. Um, I think it's a shotgun or something. Yeah, and the rumble really sucks, which is a shame. Hmm. Yeah, I need to switch weapons, bring on sh shells and stuff. Ah! Where'd you come from? Leave me alone. Jack. Oh, it's a cutscene. In third person for some reason. This doesn't make sense. Like, it'd be better to do this in first person. So I'd be more scared of the monster or whatever. There we go. Anyway, it's dead now.
Yeah, the vibration really sucks. All you get is just a constant vibrate. It doesn't change depending on what kind of gun you're using. And it's just the same whenever you do a shot. And it's just really conspicuous and annoying. Shells. So this thing is a shotgun. Okay, I wasn't really sure. Ah! Leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Gross. Your ammunition jerk. <laughs> I don't think I have the code for that, so I guess I'll just leave that. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailant. Ah. The new metro. We don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a strong. Daniel, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's, of course that was going to happen. Yeah, okay. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one man down and several wounded. We are incoming and need medical on station staff. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. The monorail track is destroyed. Unable to secure safe transportation at the base. Over. Roger that, Fire Team 2. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP well, there. This is a security Out. checkpoint. Um, we can unlock it, right? Yeah, I need to go through the office, which is over here. Yeah, it's probably full of monsters. Yep. Whoa, that's gross. Okay, here we go. I can unlock this now. Um. Ah! Too spoofy for me. Heal me? I don't think I do. Um, doesn't look like it. All right. So, um, yeah, that happened. I'm not impressed. Um. I kind of get why this game wasn't really super well received. It doesn't feel like the other Dooms, and it's it's not really a very special shooter, I guess. It's quite kind of forgettable. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. I get more health. Are there like health packs I can pick up like in the other games? Maybe this supply thing has them. Hey you up here, quickly. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. Yeah, I know, I saw it. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Alright. I'll do what I can. You're gonna turn in a second, I'm pretty sure. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. I got some more 
armor. That's cool. There's gonna be like monsters and stuff jumping out at me while I go through here, I'm pretty sure. I know how video games work. Leave me alone. God. So annoying. I found a PDA, that's cool. Is that what I was here for? Maybe. Hey, medkit. Nice. Didn't heal me that much, but it's better than nothing. Ooh. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's nice. Uh, something in my PDA, apparently. What's it say? Boop. Alright, I downloaded this guy's intro. Cool. That's fine. I need an AC card to go that way, so I go this way. Spooky. Manage, Stuart. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. Hit that, Jack. There's way too much darkness in this game, it's ridiculous. You're supposed to die from being on fire, you jerk. There we go. Where are the medkits? Delicious. I love the taste of medkits. I assume. I don't know what they taste like. I've never actually eaten a medkit. Because I don't think they're approved. Also, they don't really exist. You're gonna attack me? Like, you're a corpse there. You're gonna get up and attack me, aren't you? That's what corpses do in these sorts of games. Huh. Well, you're a corpse also. Are you gonna attack me? What about you? Hmm. I'm suspicious. Just want to duck under this bit and crawl through here and grab this stuff. There we go. Hey, PDA. Oh, someone called Bill Tyson. Thanks, Bill, for dying and letting me steal your PDA, I guess. open all the way. Um, so I probably can't get through there. I can't see a control panel or anything, so I just need to go a different way. Oh, 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 oh. Jack. 
Is that guy using another zombie as a human shield? Like, it's not gonna work. You're both zombies. Come on. <laughs> you know how this works, right? Uh, can I unlock this? Doesn't look like it. Mustn't have had the right PDA yet. I don't know the code for that. Uh, which is a shame, because I'd love some weapons. I'd also love a med kit. Oh, I have full health, actually. Never mind. <laughs> okay, this is the other side of that door. Okay. So, I'm going all the way around there. Oh, it's Marine HQ. Oh. Oh. Can someone use the comp center? Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. Hello. I'm able to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Lab. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. Thanks, bro. Okay, so I need to go through administration. I have extra security clearance now, so I can probably open some of those doors I couldn't before. Not that one, that one's just broken. I have the code for that one. Uh, how about this one? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh no, they know how to roll. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> terminal's broken and there's blood on it. That's so sad. And blood e. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oop. Lights over there aren't working properly. Good thing I'm like way more bulletproof than all these other people for some reason. Like, they're Marine. normal people, and I'm a normal person, but maybe the armor I'm wearing firepower. is just, like, super good armor compared to what they have. That looks like they're wearing the same stuff, so I don't know. <gasps> I'm out of order. I wonder if I play Super Tur Turbo Turkey Bunch of 3. That sounded exciting. Bullets. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and Hey, it's the boss room. Remember that? And when I went there and said, hey, they chose a dumb symbol. See? Same boss room. Not a dumb symbol, just, you know, a bad one. Hello, security bot thingy. Are you helping me? Oh. Oh, look, they're helping me. Oh. This is adorable. What a lovely robot friend. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's go. Go, little robot. Marine, we gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. Oh, good little robot. Oh. Oh, did you fall asleep? Good night, little robot. I love you. Sweet dreams. Don't don't dream about zombies. That would be bad. Uh, I think I want to take this elevator.
Okay, so I'm an hour in. Uh, I've just passed one hour of recording time, so I reckon this is probably a good spot to stop. Um, so yeah, that's Doom 3 and 1 and 2, all on the Switch. You can play them on the Switch. They don't seem to have been upgraded much. Um, all of the expansions are there, which is good. Uh, I don't think this game I don't think is very good to begin with. Um, but, you know, if I'm you enjoy it, now, then you Doctor, might enjoy the it. UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. You understand? <gasps> yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Ah, oh, hello. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, Doom 3. I think it's a decent port. It doesn't seem to be buggy or anything. It's just not a great game to begin with. Um. It didn't... I did make a login my, into my Bethesda account. It, again, I don't know why all three games did that, because I don't think any of them have actual online features. Um. Oh, you're... you're yeah, there we go. I knew one of you was going to do that. There we go. Now you're dead. That's what you deserve. For being a zombie. Sorry. I feel bad now. I'm just thinking about Zombieland Saga. Those zombies don't deserve anything but love. They deserve hugs and respect. And all of the cuddles. Because I love them. They are the best zombies. And they are precious babies. Now oh, I need a security terminal. Thingy. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's Doom 3 and Doom 2 and Doom 1. And they're all on this, this, uh, this platform called the Nintendo Switch. You can play them on this thing as of, uh, I think yesterday. So, if you want to play these games, that's how you you can do it now, if you want to do it this way. They all require you to log into a Bethesda.net account for some reason. Even though they're all single-player games with no online features. Question mark? <laughs> but, yeah, they're there, and you can play them, and they seem pretty good. So, yeah. Um, I mean, Doom 3 is not great. I'm not super impressed with it from what I've done here. But... Um, Doom 1 and 2 are classics, and deservedly, deservedly so, so you can play those two and have a great time, and, you know, you can, I guess you can play Doom 3 if you really want to. <laughs> yeah, um, bye, thanks for watching, and bye again. <laughs>